Hi, this is your Master Karen at sa video na to ay matututo kayo kung paano malalaman na ang isang sequence ay halimbawa ng arithmetic sequence. Makinig ng mabuti and enjoy learning. Sa video na to ay tatalakayin natin ng mas madali si arithmetic sequence. Paano ba natin malalaman kung ang isang sequence ay arithmetic? Ang mga sumusunod na halimbawa ay halimbawa ng arithmetic sequence. Unahin natin si 4, 7, 10, 13. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang pattern na ginamit dito is by adding 3. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. Ang tawag kay 3 sa arithmetic sequence is the common difference. Therefore, ang common difference ng sequence na to is 3. Let's have number 2. Negative 2, negative 6, negative 10, negative 14, and so on. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang pattern na ginamit dito is by adding negative 4. Negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus negative 4 is negative 10. Negative 10 plus negative 4 is negative 14, and so on. Ang tawag kay negative 4 sa arithmetic sequence is the common difference. Therefore, ang common difference ng negative 2, negative 6, negative 10, negative 14 is negative 4. Let's have number 3. 1, 1 and 1 half, 2, 2 and 1 half, and so on. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang pattern na ginamit dito is by adding 1 half. 1 plus 1 half is equal to 1 and 1 half. 1 and 1 half plus 1 half is equal to 2. 2 plus 1 half is equal to 2 and 1 half. And so on. Ang tawag kay 1 half sa arithmetic sequence is the common difference. Therefore, ang common difference ng sequence na ito is 1 half. Now, ano ang palatandaan natin kay common difference? Ang palatandaan kay common difference is constant siya. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya nagbabago. Kung ano yung in mo sa unang term, yun din yung ia mo sa susunod na term para makuha yung susunod pang term. Halimbawa natin si number 1. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. Constant yung number na inad natin sa bawat term. Or hindi nagbabago yung number na inad natin sa bawat term para makuha yung mga susunod na term. Let's have number 2. Negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus negative 4 is negative 10. Negative 10 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 14. Therefore, constant yung common difference natin. Iisa lang yung inad natin sa bawat term para makuha yung susunod na term. Ganon din sa number 3. Paano natin makukuha si common difference ng isang arithmetic sequence? Napakadali lang. I-minus mo lang si second term sa first term. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. 13 minus 10 is equal to 3. Paano naman natin makukuha yung mga susunod na terms? Para makuha yung mga susunod na terms, isi-add mo lang si common difference doon sa huling term. 13 plus 3 is equal to 16. 16 plus 3 is equal to 19. Therefore, ang iyong fifth term is 16 and ang iyong sixth term is 19 and so on. So, let's have an example. Determine if the sequence is arithmetic or not. If it is, find the common difference and the next three terms. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, ida determine natin kung itong sequence nato is arithmetic or hindi. At kung arithmetic siya, hanapin natin si common difference at ang sumunod na tatlong terms. So, para malaman kung arithmetic siya, ang palatandaan natin is the common difference. dapat ang common difference mo is constant or hindi nagbabago. Now, hanapin natin si common difference. So, mag-start tayo kay negative 4 at 3. Para mahanap ang common difference, imaminus natin si second term kay first term. 
So, this is your second term or your a sub 2 and this is your a sub 1. Ima-minus natin si second term kay first term. a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to ang a sub 2 mo is 3 minus ang a sub 1 mo is negative 4. 3 minus negative 4 magiging plus, magiging positive, then 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Then, let's have the a sub 3 and a sub 2. a sub 3 minus a sub 2 is equal to, ang a sub 3 mo is 10, ang iyong a sub 2 is 3. So, minus 3. 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. So, let's have the last one a sub 4 and a sub 3. So, a sub 4 minus a sub 3 is equal to, ang a sub 4 mo is 17, at ang iyong a sub 3 is 10. 17 minus 10 is equal to 7. Kung mapapansin nyo, pare-pareho sila ng common difference. Therefore, itong sequence na to is an arithmetic sequence. At ang common difference nila is 7. Paano natin malalaman yung next 3 terms? Para malaman yung susunod na terms, i-add natin si common difference sa last term. 17 plus 7 is equal to 24. 24 plus 7 is equal to 31. 31 plus 7 is equal to 38. Therefore, ang sequence na to is arithmetic sequence. Ang common difference is 7 at ang next three terms is 24, 31, and 38. Let's have another example. Find the common difference in next two terms of 3a minus 1, 3a, and 3a plus 1. Ang ibig sabihin, hahanapin daw natin si common difference or si d at ang sumunod na dalawang terms ng sequence na ito. So, this is your a sub 1, this is your a sub 2, this is your a sub 3. Ang hahanapin natin ngayon is si a sub 4 and a sub 5. Unahin natin ang common difference. Para makuha si common difference, kukunin natin ang difference ni a sub 2 and a sub 1. a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to, ang iyong a sub 2 is 3a, then copy mo lang si minus, then ang iyong a sub 1 is 3a minus 1. Then, 3a minus 3a is equal to 0. And since this is minus and this is negative, the answer is positive 1. Let's have a sub 3 minus a sub 2. Ang iyong a sub 3 is 3a plus 1. Minus, ang iyong a sub 2 is equal to 3a. 3a minus 3a is equal to 0. At naiwan na lang si 1 sa loob. Therefore, ang common difference nila is 1. Ibig sabihin, ang common difference ng sequence na ito is 1. D is equal to 1. Para naman mahanap ang sumunod na dalawang terms, i-add natin si 1 doon sa last term. Para mahanap si 4th term, a sub 4 is equal to a sub 3 plus the common difference. So, let's solve. Ang iyong a sub 3 is 3a plus 1. At ang iyong common difference is 1. So, plus 1. Simplify lang natin. 3a, copy mo lang siya. Then, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Therefore, ang iyong fourth term is 3a plus 2. Paano natin mahanap si a sub 5? Para mahanap si a sub 5, a sub 4 plus the common difference. Ang iyong a sub 4 is 3a plus 2. At ang iyong common difference is 1. Open and close parenthesis plus 1. Then simplify. 3a, copy mo lang. Then 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Therefore, ang iyong fifth term is 3a plus 3. Thank you. See you on my next video and learn with Master Karen every day.
For other topics na gusto nyo pang i-discuss ni Master Karen, just comment down below. Thank you.